Welcome ladies and gentlemen, Gorhamian here with Misfit Studios as always, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to get your mouse pad cleaned up. So there is a lot of different types of ma um, mouse pads. Um, there's of course your typical gaming mouse pad with a nice smooth cloth top. There's the plastic top ones for, you know, more of your home office kind of thing. Um, you know, the ones with the, the foam bottom. Today we're actually going to be taking a look at, of course, the um, cloth top gaming mouse pads. Um, the one that I'm going to be cleaning up today is the one that I use personally. It's a, a HyperX. I think it's a 32 inch by 18 inch. So it's a pretty big one. I like to keep um, my keyboard and mouse on it. It just keeps everything nice and clean. Um, but of course, after use over and over and over again, as you're sitting at your PCs, it does get kind of disgusting, of course, with all of the oils on your skin. And maybe if you've spilled anything, um, while you've been gaming or working or what have you. Um, so today we're going to take a look at how to get those cleaned up. All right, so this is the pad that we're going to be cleaning. See, a good way to tell on these cloth pads is if they're dirty, if you take your fingernail or something hard and scrape, see that that, that line shows up, those lines do. That's, that's just oil and grease and other gunk that's in the pad. You know, scratch anywhere else, you don't see any of those lines come up. More often than not, it's clean there. So what we've got here is just a warm bath with some dish soap in it. You can use dish soap, you can use laundry detergent, just something, just a mild soap and some warm water. <clears throat> so we're just going to put enough water in this just to kind of submerge it and get it nice and soaked. Um, you can do this in the sink, in your bathtub. You don't need to necessarily put it in a tote like I've got here. Um, and then what we're going to do is, is pretty simple. We're just going to grab just a nylon brush, something that's plastic, something that's got soft bristles. Um, of course, this brush is just a little too small for the project that we're working on here for a mouse pad this size. Um, if you've got a smaller mouse pad, of course, you don't need to use a giant brush, but I would definitely recommend getting a brush a little bit larger than this one here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to gently, gently scrub and make some suds. We're going to scrub the entire pad. Um, the one thing to remember is I wouldn't scrub a whole lot on the back side of the pad, like this one here, if you flip this over. I don't know if you can see that on camera or not. There is the, a grid here. It's like a honeycomb. Um, and then those little dots are actually got, um, they're made of rubber so that that pad can grip on the desk. Um, like I said, I would stay away from scrubbing any of those. If you've got gunk and stuff on the bottom, then I would definitely, you know, use a microfiber cloth or something um, that's not a brush to uh, wipe that down with when it's wet. Very super simple. Just go ahead and scrub the entire pad. Make sure everything is clean. Um, I would recommend vacuuming this before you start. This pad's really not all that bad. It is relatively new, new to me anyways. And so there's not really a whole lot of scrubbing that really needs to be done to this one. Just get like the uh, problem areas, really scrub those. You don't need to scrub the entire pad if it doesn't need it. Um, but <clears throat> I know it's kind of hard to see on camera, but I don't have this, you know, completely laid out. Um, but I've got keyboard over on the one side and of course on the right side is where the mouse goes and the mouse area is really really the the place that needs attention which is going to be about the case because you're you know constantly moving your hand and you're using that mouse and then i know a lot of people like their wrist and their forearm is rubbing against the bottom part of that pad which of course transfers you know oils from your skin <clears throat> and then that oil attracts dirt and that's how it gets disgusting and filthy like this one kind of was. So we're going to go ahead and continue scrubbing on this just to get it all nice and cleaned up. All right, so we've got this all scrubbed and thoroughly rinsed. Of course, you're going to go ahead and rinse as much as you can. I did that off camera because obviously I don't have a sink here and moving all the camera equipment to where I rinse it is kind of a pain. So I just went ahead and rinse it a little bit. It looks like um, there is a, a little bit of suds here still, so I need to rinse it again. Remember, um, when you are drying this, do not put it in the dryer. Don't apply any heat, leave it out of the sun. Um, you know, hang it somewhere that you can just let it air dry for, you know, 12, 24 hours. If, if it needs to hang longer, then it needs to hang longer. Just know that 
don't try and use a hairdryer or accelerate that heating process because what's going to happen is the rubber that is on the back side and inside this mat is going to get too hot it's going to deteriorate and then like the stuff on the back side is going to get really sticky and kind of disgusting um, and it'll break down and ruin this mat so do not put it in the dryer i know a lot of people that i've seen on youtube that have done these kinds of mats you know use a hair dryer or something with some heat or some sun don't do that i've done it before and it, it, the results afterwards are less than desirable let's put it that way um, so what we're going to do is we're actually just going to hang this up, let it drip, completely dry out, and then, um, and then yeah, that's that's all there is to it. It's really super simple. There's really not a whole lot to it, and it's going to save you, you know, 20 or 30 bucks, or in this case, I think this mat was close to 75 or $80 because of its size. As you can see, it you know, kind of falls off the table, um, but I really like it. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. We're Hamey in here with Misfit Studios, as always. And if you guys like these little short little uh, cleanup tech tips, then uh, leave a comment down below, and we will be sure to do some more of them for you.